Today I'm going to teach you how to give oral medication to a bird the size of a cockatiel, budgie, any of the small parrots that we deal with. So normally I'll use a little hand towel, you can use a tea towel, anything that you've got at home like a face cloth. Um, the reason I do this is because it means that we don't end up making them scared of our hands when we can catch them, uh, especially when we're doing it twice a day for a period of time. So normally what I'll do is I'll just wrap the towel in half, okay? I'll go and collect my patient. You can see that I've got her wrapped up nice and safely. Now when I apply my thumb and forefinger, my thumb sits just next to her cheek and my forefinger sits underneath her chin, okay? And what I do then is I wrap her in my hand, okay? And I'll just have her sitting there like that. Normally I'll wrap the towel around them so their wings are nice and secure and you can see that I've got good control of her head. The pressure that I use when I do this is about the sort of pressure that you would use when you're testing a tomato or an apple in the supermarket. So you squeeze them relatively firmly, but not so firmly that you make them uncomfortable, okay? If you look down here, I've got all of her treatments drawn up on the bench, okay? And so what we need to do is we just have those ready, and because I'm left-handed, I'm going to do it the right way around, okay? And all we do now is that we go ahead, we introduce the syringe into the side of her beak, okay? Naturally, she will chew on it. We need to make sure it's over the top of her tongue, and then we just dribble it in there nice and slowly, okay? Give her a chance to swallow, okay? Otherwise, she might end up with it coming out her nostrils. As you can see, I'm doing it nice and slowly for her, making sure that she's got time to relax and take it easy. And you can see that she's quite comfortable in my hand just like this, okay? If you notice that you've got a bird that started to learn to use their tongue to push you out of their mouth, sometimes you have to take it a little bit more firmly by getting the syringe and actually using it to open the beak. But in this situation, you can see that she's quite comfortable and happy, okay? Last one, over the top of the tongue, into the beak like that. And then I just hold them for a second to let them get used to having um, the medication in their mouth, give them a little scratch to say, well done. And then she's good to go back. Any questions, give us a ring.